Hi, good afternoon. I'm Eric. So today, we are come back again. We are with BB. Today, we're going to show you a Mary Chef Speed Owens that on the left hand side of me. So today, let me emphasize a little bit on my menu. Uh, what I'm going to do and what we going to use up Mary Chef E1S to serve a lovely love dish. Today, the menu I will go have is what we call beef rendang shashuka. So over here, we are more on localized. Dishes are localized and heavy, and then this is one of the ingredients. Let me explain to you one by one on the ingredients why we do have over here for our beef rendang shashuka. First of all, minced beef, it can be used up whether it's beef or chicken and lamb. Right? Of course, rendang. As we mentioned earlier, we have the rendang taste is over here, right? So, no doubt, in the beach table, we have tomato, right? We have garlic. We have onions and you can have end up any vegetable as you like. Probably like the green peas, corns, right, the capsicums, and of course the egg with the cheese and also the base with the tomato sauce. So first of all, we are using Marisha container, we call it accessory, right? So what you need to do, very simple, a little bit of oil dropping out, then you add Garlic, onions, of course. Green peas takes a little longer to cook. I mean, for sure, everyone knows about that. So, a bit of corn, right? Then, what we need to do is very simple get our, our pepper, put it in, right? Now, we back to our marriage chef here again. So, as we mentioned just now, beside the set manual cooking profile, so the second cooking profile that we take is press and go. That means two steps cooking needed only. Right? The benefit of two step cooking needed as press and go, I will explain to you later. And now this because our, our ingredient is ready to go. And by the way, the press I want you to do just press a press and go, right? So over here I will just select my cooking recipe, whichever I've been mean, uploaded already in advance. So what you need to do is press and then select on the press and go profile. Put in the product in the oven. Alright? Close the door. Ultimately, the rest of the job, manager will tell me to take on. So, meantime, as you see the parameter, we're doing countdowns by the red color one. Right? 25 seconds later. So, what you're going to do is add on the rest of the product. Right? So, what you need to do. Remove up, right? You can close the door, it's not an issue. The piping is still, is, the, the messages is still there. So, what we need to do is add whatever the rest of the ingredient being beef. A tablespoon of the rendang paste. So, of course, the way And definitely do forget about our tomato paste. Alright? So the tomato paste you can dump by yourself or whether you can get the convenience from tomato paste. So approximately about three tablespoons. Alright? So, give a good stir on that. As you can see, I'm ready to go for the next one. Alright? So get it back the pan, the cooking pan. So, it is gentlemen, simple and easy, right? Put it in, and what you need to do is just continue cooking, right? Press on the button over here to my left. So now we come back to the menu again. So what you need to do, indication tell me, is add in the egg, alright? So, remove that out on the products, alright? Now, of course, in Shakuka, definitely we will throw some cheese, so and also the egg with the last part. So what you need to do, get the, get the cheese ready. So I prefer to use mozzarella. So there's an option whether you can use feta and so on. So give a good stir on the cheese, all right? So get the eggs to break it up. Right. 